once again hello my dear students and welcome to English for Palestine grade 11 our lesson today is in your uh, pupils book unit 9 period 3 and 4 page 92 and 93 and it is about relative pronouns and relative clauses so by the end of this lesson you will be able to recognize the meaning of relative uh, pronouns recognize some of relative pronouns and recognize the defining and non-defining relative clauses let's start first of all what is a relative pronoun a relative pronoun is a word that takes the place of a noun or a pronoun it is used to join two clauses about the same noun and it is called relative pronoun because it relates back to something or someone. Again, a relative pronoun is a word that takes the place of a noun or a pronoun. It joins two clauses together and it is called relative because it relates back to something or to someone. Let's now see some of your, uh, some of relative pronouns in your books. Number one is the relative pronoun who. Who refers to people. Which refers to things and animals. That refers to people, things and animals. So that, we can use that instead of who or which. Who's referred to position. Position means something belongs to a person. And where refers to places again my dear students who refers to people which refers to things or animals that refers to people things uh, or animals who is referred to positions and where refers to places let's now see some examples let's look at the first one the teacher who teaches us English is from London. So here we use the pronoun who because it relates back to a person, teacher. Second one, this is the cake which my little sister made yesterday. Again here we use the pronoun which because it relates back to a thing cake who refers to person teacher which refers to thing cake the flowers that grow in this garden are beautiful here that refers to flowers and do you remember I told you that we use that instead of who or which the boy whose father is my math teacher is excellent so who is here it, it we use it for position so we are talking about the boy's father the boy's father the boy whose father is my math teacher is excellent in english and the last one this is the city where I usually, I usually spend my holidays. So we use where because it refers to the city and the city here is a place. So if you notice here, who refers to person, which refers to uh, thing, uh, that here refers to thing and whose we use it for position, the boy's father and where we use it uh, it refers to a place city let's now move to relative clauses what is a relative clause a relative clause is an independent clause that start with a relative pronoun it is an independent clause that starts with a relative pronoun it starts with who which whose, where, or that. It gives information about a person or a thing or a place. 
it follows the noun it describes. Again, number one, it is an independent clause. Independent clause means it has subject and verb, basically, optional object. And it gives information about a person or a thing. And it follows the noun it describes. It comes after it directly. Okay? Now, in English, we have two kinds of clauses or relative clauses. We have two kinds of relative clauses. The first one is defining relative clause. What is a defining relative clause? It follows the noun it describes. Be careful that uh, defining relative clause follows directly the noun it describes. This is number one. It adds important information to make it clear which one or ones we mean. It adds important information. It functions as an adjective for the noun to define it. The uh, defining relative clause, it works or functions as a, an adjective. That is often used instead of who or which. Again, defining relative clause follows the noun it describes adds important information to make it clear which one or ones we mean. Functions as an adjective for the noun to define it. That is often used instead of who or which. Be careful. That is often used instead of who or which in defining relative clause. Okay, now let's see some examples. The people are nice. They work in my office. We want to join these two sentences together by using a relative pronoun or a defining relative clause. The steps are as follows. Number one, we decide the words, the common words in the two sentences. The people here and they. They here refers to the people. So the first one is to, we delete the uh, pronoun here and we add the relative pronoun instead of it. And then we move the whole clause from here next to the uh, word it describes. So it becomes like this. The people who work in my office are nice. The people who work in my office, this is the relative, defining relative clause, are nice. If you see here that this clause follows directly after the word it describes. And it, oh, it is also an important piece of information. It works like an adjective. Okay, the people. Which people? Okay, who work in my office. Another example. That's the woman I found her yesterday. Again, we want to use defining relative clause. The word here, woman, okay, and the pronoun here. We omit the pronoun and we put the, rel the relative pronoun at the beginning of the second clause and move it directly after the word it describes. And here, the word woman is uh, in the first sentence. That's the woman who I phoned yesterday. That's the woman who I phoned yesterday. Okay, now let's move to the second kind or type of relative clauses. It is non-defining relative clause. Non-defining relative clause follows the noun it describes, the same as defining relative clause. 
it adds extra information to the noun. Do you remember, defining relative clause adds important information, but this clause, non-defining relative clause, add extra information, they are not important. Commas are used to separate the information. This is very important. We use commas to separate the non-defining clause. That is not used instead of who or which. But in defining relative clause, that is used instead of who or which. Let's see now uh, some examples. Okay. Look here. My grandmother speaks English well. This is a complete sentence. She is 80 years old. My grandmother and she. We use the same, the same steps. We use the same steps. We delete uh, the pronoun here and we put the relative pronoun, the suitable relative pronoun, who. And we move the, clo the whole clause next to the noun it describes. So it becomes my grandmother, who is 80 years old, speaks English well. Now, who is 80 years old? This is the non-defining relative clause. It adds extra information. They are not important. Because of, because of this, we put them between commas. Uh, be careful about this. We put the non-defining relative clause between commas because they are extra information. Okay, let's now move to uh, the second example. Jack has a bean plant. It grows very fast and very high. Here we have, this is the word, and it here refers to the plant. We omit it and we put which. Okay, so it becomes like this. Jack has a bean plant, comma, which grows very fast and very high. We put a comma because uh, uh, these uh, information or these uh, pieces of information are not uh, important for the plan. They are extra information. Okay? Okay, now let's practice more about defining relative clauses and non-defining relative clauses. Join the two short sentences to make one longer sentence using defining relative clause or non-defining relative clause. Let's do this activity together. Okay, look at uh, number one. The story happened in Jaffa. Okay, Jaffa is a city in Palestine. As I told you, we delete the word here and Jaffa is here is a city so we use which, okay, and we put all the clothes next to the word it describes. So it becomes the story happened in Jaffa, comma, which is a city in Palestine. Now, if you notice here, is it defining or non-defining relative clause? It is non-defining because here it adds extra information about Jaffa. The story happened in Jaffa. It is a complete sentence. And here uh, uh, he, uh, the, the pronoun adds or the clause adds extra information about Jaffa, which is a city in Palestine. The second one. Have you seen the letter? It came yesterday. Again here, the letter and it. Yes, we omit this pronoun and put which instead of it, okay, because it is a thing. So 
it becomes have you seen the letter which came yesterday okay this is a question is it defining relative clause or non-defining relative clause yes it is defining because because uh, it adds here important information about the letter which letter the letter uh, which came yesterday okay number three this is the book i was reading it yesterday here is the book and this is the pronoun the pronoun here is object okay so we omit the pronoun and we put which at the beginning of the second close so it becomes this is the book which I was reading yesterday okay good is it defining or non-defining Yes, it's defining because it has uh, important information about the book. Okay, number four. That's the house. I was born there. Be careful about there, a place. That's, so, we omit this here and we put where at the beginning of the close. So, it becomes that's the house where I was born. Good. And it is relate, defining relative clause because it adds important information. Uh, let's now move to number five. The main character, this is the noun here, is very poor. He has three sons. The pronoun here we on, we delete this pronoun we add who because the main character is a person and then we uh, take the whole clause and put it next to the to the word it describes so it becomes the main character comma who has three sons comma because extra information is very poor okay my dear student by this we have finished our lesson يمكنكم مشاهدة هذا الموقف التعليمي عدة مرات من خلال الرابط أو الكود الظاهر أسفل الشاشة thank you very much and see you later